Today I'll show you the easiest way to create a contact form that viewers can fill up and you will receive a response like this in email as well as in your dashboard like this. It is super simple and we'll use drag and drop to create the form. I want my contact page here. So on the left, I'll look for forms. Here it is. Simply drag and drop to the page like this. The next step is to add fields to this form. Click here. Under content, I'll simply click here to duplicate the fill like this. Next. I'll set the type to text and then change the label name like this. I'll also toggle this required option so that it becomes compulsory to fill the field. Now, using the same steps, I will create a middle name, last name and other important fields like phone number and address field in this form. And once it's done, it should look something like this. Click on add item, set the type to radio and it will look something like this. For the next part, I want to know what my users are into. so. I'll add another item from here and set the type to checkbox. Now I'll add the label name in this box and quickly add all the choices in this box one by one like this. As this is a contact form and to know what my users are struggling with on the website, it's always a better idea to allow them to upload screenshots of the issues they are facing. And to do that, I'll click here to add another item and change the type to file upload. Let's give it a label name like this. Awesome. Now to display a confirmation message after someone submits the form, I'll go to content and select additional options from here. Just enable the custom messages and write down whatever message you want to show. I think I have added all the necessary fields, so let's customize our form. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because Okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Below the forms option, click on button and here I can change alignment, size, etc. Next, I want to apply some colors to my buttons and for that, let's go to style and change the color from here. Now to add a background, and change colors of the form, you can simply go to style or advanced tab and quickly modify the settings according to your needs. I'll do mine and make it look like this. To configure submissions, I'll go to actions after submit and under actions, click this plus icon where you can add an email where you want to receive the submissions. Currently we have the email to option. So let's click it and add an email address quickly like this. In the subject, I'll add this. In the message box, I'll write first name. And then go here, click advanced, copy this short code, come back and paste it here like this. The last step is to configure submissions, like how to check it and where to store it. So I'll go to the edit form, select content and click on collect submissions. Next. Click on this link here, which will direct us to the WordPress dashboard. And here we can see the list of submissions of this form. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.